It's gonna be somewhere around here. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Gun Tour. Now, not too long ago I was at a St. Petersburg gun show. The link is going to be somewhere around here and that's where I saw one of the coolest weapons of all time. But one weapon really caught my attention. It was the Russian PLK 9mm. In the beginning I couldn't really differentiate it from the Glock 19 at all. And to be honest, I still can't. So that's why I'm going to dive deep and find out the differences between these two masterpieces and who the father of these two twins really is. Now we've got the Russian PLK 9mm on hand, but we're gonna start with the Glock 19X. Now I would have liked to start with the Glock 19, but unfortunately we don't have it on hand, but the difference really isn't much. It's just got a bigger grip. We can put bigger magazines in it and more cartridges, obviously. So this weapon really needs no introduction. It's the world standard. The Austrians did a really good job, but I'm still gonna talk a bit about it. It's chambered in 9x19 Parabellum rounds. The Glock 19X can carry 17 plus 1 or 16 plus 1 cartridges. It's got trigger mounted safety, ambidextrous slide lock, 3 dot safety, button operated mag release that can be changed if you're a lefty. I really like the design of the 19X. It's I like the golden color. Andre had a really interesting story about how Glock designed the grip and figured out the angle. Andre, would you like to tell me about that? Да, очень забавная история, как Gaston Glock придумывал наклон рукоятки. Он взял две обычные дощечки, соединил их с саморезом и поочередно давал каждому с другу офицеру. Тот брался, немножко под себя регулировал, передавали следующему. И в итоге все там, я не помню, сколько их было, два-три человека. В конечном итоге Гастон Глок затянул саморез, и так у нас получился идеальный наклон рукоятки. Идеальный у него угол, то есть как мы не беремся, рука сама подходит в эту рукоятку. То есть... And they all did it over a beer. Yes. In, in a bar. Like no, it's, it's a, the guy just went out for a beer, figured out what angle to put on probably one of the most legendary pistols ever made. Now, enough talking, time to shoot. Very good feeling I get from this gun. The trigger pull is a bit tough, to be honest, but I mean, it's, it's still a Glock, it's still perfect. The only thing that I don't like about the Glock is the trigger mounted safety. I would have liked a separate safety because, I mean, a lot of you would argue that would increase your response time to a situation, right? But I would argue otherwise. I would say that you need a separate safety because if an untrained person or a child gets a hold of this gun and pulls the trigger, your lifespan would be significantly decreased and um, otherwise they wouldn't be able to do it. Now, the PLK 9mm on the other end has an external safety. Now we're gonna try with the PLK 9mm, see how this shoots. Now the reason why we're here, the PLK pistol by Lebedev Compact. Now it was designed by Dmitry Lebedev in the last decade uh, for the military and the law enforcement. It's not really different from the Glock because they both are chambered in the 9x19mm parabellum. Um, they both have a steel top and a plastic polymer underframe. It keeps the weight and the costs low. Uh, the only big difference that I see between the Glock and and the PLK is that it's got an external 
mounted safety, which, in which, and it's ambidextrous as well. You just push it up and the gun won't fire. We don't have that on the Glock. And this is something that I really like on the PLK. I really like the trigger of the Lebedev. It's just buttery smooth. Let's look at it. Super light, just a perfect trigger. And in comparison with the Glock, the Glock is slightly longer and not as smooth as the Lebedev. Now I'm gonna show you how they look from the inside and it's very easy to actually disassemble the Lebedev. Just press the button right here, flip the switch here, and then just take off the top frame. Now, the major difference that I noticed between these two pistols is that even though their length is the same, the barrel on the Glock is slightly longer than that of the Lebedev. And that's a very big advantage towards the Glock. This is how they look. This is how the frames look from the inside. Not very different as you can see. The big difference is that it has the external safety operating like this. The top frames are also very, very similar. As you can see, not much difference at all. This mechanism is slightly different. The recoil spring on the Glock looks more solid than that of the Lebedev, but all in all, I mean, you can replace the recoil springs. It's not a big deal. Both of these systems are very similar. Look at these two pistols. Just tell me if you see any difference between these two pistols in the comments section and which one would you carry into battle? Hey you, yeah you, I see you're watching us without a subscription. Stop that and hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that button, hit that button, hit that button. <laughs> now it's time to load the PLK. It's a bit tougher to load the PLK than the Glock. I don't know why, I think the spring in the magazine is a bit tough. Also, the steel edges around the mouth of the magazine, they're pretty sharp. I would like to have gloves right about now, but I don't. To be honest, I liked it more than the Glock because the trigger just makes the entire difference. It's buttery smooth. The pistol looks amazing. Well guys, unfortunately, this video is coming to an end. Write in the comment section below which pistol you like the most. Personally, I prefer the PLK because of its butter-like trigger. But if you really like the craziest and the strangest weapons out there, check out our video on the top five craziest guns ever. Click on this link below, you won't regret it, and see you next time. I'm getting hyped, bitch.